Hi, my name is Rihanna and I'm a science communicator at the Manitoba Museum. Let's talk about rocket fuel. NASA uses hydrogen and oxygen gas as fuel for their rockets to get off of our planet Earth and out into space and to places like the moon. You can get your hydrogen and oxygen fuel through a process called hydrogen electrolysis. In my container here, I have a bunch of water that's been saturated with baking soda. The baking soda helps electricity move through the water. When you electrocute the water, you split the hydrogen and oxygen that's making up the water apart into the separate ingredients. The rod on this side here is hydrogen gas, and the other side is oxygen gas. Both of those gases are being pushed through this tube and into my cup of soapy water. The soapy water is collecting that gas in bubbles. And the hydrogen and oxygen are just floating around in there together, not doing too much. So we need to add a spark. So let's see what happens when we add some fire. There we go, we got a nice pop. When you add the fire, the energy, you're allowing the hydrogen and oxygen to slam back together, reconnecting and making water. And that releases a ton of energy. And that energy, that push, is what gets rockets off the ground. So that's a little bit on the process of how rocket fuel is made. If you'd like to learn more about space exploration and the future of exploring the moon, come see the Manitoba Museum's new planetarium show, Forward to the Moon, showing daily throughout the summer. We are open from 10 to 5 every day. See you here soon.